what the worst thing you could ever do if you have a bee infestation is get four drunk men to try and fix it. Hello, this is Laughing Gas at the Edinburgh Fringe. Uh, I am here with Carl Donnelly, who has just done his show at the Delhi Belly, Delhi Belly really, yeah. at the Underbelly. How's it, how's it been? How's it going? Yeah, really fun tonight, actually. It was better than last night, where some big Scottish men walked out. Oh, really? They, they, they didn't like me at all. There was a, you know, you can't please everyone. You get it sometimes. My show's quite playful. I think they were expecting me to be really edgy and talk about beating tramps to death or something like that <laughs> did you notice who else you had in the audience as well you I had Denise Van, Denise Van Alton are you, are, you, are you friends um, no I, I met her very briefly at the underbelly launch this year yeah. uh, and then I met her just before my show and she said she was coming in uh, she's lovely she's really nice yeah, very she's pretty a, isn't she she's, she's a pretty yeah. pretty lady I actually weirdly enough I didn't tell her this but I once sat next to her in Nando's <laughs> Denise Van Alton's husband Lee Mead uh-huh. was doing Joseph at the time and uh, I imagine she popped in for a little bit of chicken. I think she had a quarter chicken and chips. Is that what she went for? Actually, quarter chicken and spicy. Well, I thought she would have been a portobello mushroom with uh, no. some sort of weird chutney thing. I mean, it's bloody think. good. <laughs> you would think. Yeah, but, that's what um, I would have thought. No, yeah, I think she had a quarter chicken, spicy rice, yeah. which is what I tend to go to go yeah. for. So I think we've got more in common than uh, I originally thought. Your show is called Relax Everyone. It's Carl Donnelly. Yes. Um, so what what do you do to relax? That's the really cheesy um, magazine I, sort of <laughs> gossip type magazine question. For very you there. cheesy. I, I drink too much. The Edinburgh Festival is essentially a drinking festival for comedians. Yeah. It's, like, it's like a sort of a month-long holiday camp where comedians get together and just get drunk every night. Yeah. And then halfway through, we're all like all carrying around Rennies with us and stuff like that because we're getting acid reflux. It's really horrible. But, uh, but yeah, I, I, I do. I, I like a drink. The drinking thing is one thing you mentioned in your show. I talk. Yeah, because I used to drink far too much and uh, almost died from it. I lost blood. half my body's blood, uh, turned yellow, um, and I, I, it was emergency, I had emergency operations, blood transfusions. I'm still drinking. <laughs> still, <laughs> so I'm cool. still, you're committed, at yeah. least. Um, I'm actually yeah. still drinking right now. Kind of, there it is. There's a bit uh, there. First yeah. one of the day, it's actually. All good. Please uh, don't have another sort of dying situation right here. At least it would be kind of like a Tommy Cooper thing, although maybe not not you know, it's cool. like not as cool and it's not actually on stage. Oh, I don't think an interview is quite as good as yeah. on stage. Well, if I died on stage at this festival, it'd be the exact opposite. Tommy Cooper did it at like the Royal Variety Hall or something. Uh, and I did it, uh, I'd do it in a cave that sits 50 people. This is your first solo show, our yes. long solo show. Uh, it is, yeah. I mean, last, the last, first year I came up was 2006, which I was very new. And I did a little like free hander with two other guys. The year after I did a thing called the Comedy Zone with three other guys. Next, last year I did a double header with John Robbins uh, and this is, it was like a natural progression, you sort of work your way up and then yeah. you do your solo show yeah. Uh, and yeah, it's really, I mean, really enjoying it actually. Yeah, it's wicked. So what was the, uh, what was the writing process like? I mean, obviously you've been on the circuit for four years, you must have had a fair bank of material. Yeah, I mean, it's that thing of some people rush up a bit too soon I think um, and that's when you have like, I think your first Edinburgh show should essentially be once you've done it for a few years yeah. and you know you can be funny for an hour uh, rather than have been doing it for like two years and know you're funny for half an hour and try and fill for an hour. So I waited until I, was, I knew I could actually have a funny hour. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, cool. But then two guys last night did not agree. So, <laughs> so how's it been up in Edinburgh so far? I mean, you've been here for three weeks now, so. Yeah, it's supposed to be really fun actually. I've enjoyed it. It's been a bit mental. I mean, like, you do sort of go a bit stir crazy up here. There's been a few occasions where me and my flatmates, uh, I'm living with three other comedians. But it's like being kids. Uh, we on, the first, on the second day of the Fringe, we had a game of hide and seek that uh, ended up with me getting stuck in a cupboard under an oven that was on. Uh, and then even worse than that was Benny tried to climb into the loft and set off the uh, house burglar alarm and we didn't have the code. So we literally had to ring up the landlord and explain we'd set off the burglar alarm by having a game of hide and seek. And I've never. I've you didn't ne- have to tell her. We didn't the have truth. to tell her, but they were like, "Why were you going in the loft?" I mean, one night we got back to our flat and found out our bathroom was infested with bees. Uh, and then we were just. I tell you what, the worst thing you could ever do if you have a bee infestation is get four drunk men to try and fix it, because uh, we literally had a fight with a swarm of bees, <laughs> and uh, we broke the lampshade, just ruined the bathroom. It was like it was, oh, it was ridiculous. And then uh, one of the guys, Chris Martin's dad, who was staying sat on one and it stung his ass. Ooh. <laughs> anyway, that's been wicked. It's been lovely talking to you, Carl. Yeah, and good luck with the rest of the festival. Cheers. Yeah, cheers, uh, man. Right.